Hello guys and welcome back for another episode of Breath of Wild. Now we're going to continue on to where the old man, or as we call him Sansa, wants us to go. He said something about an X or the, the lines of the shrines or something like that. A line and make an X. So we're going to meet up there and I've got a big feeling it's going to be the church. Because it kind of seems... Slap bang right in the middle of everything, to be honest. Ooh, some more arrows. <laughs> I'll definitely be taking them. And I didn't shoot with, no, 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 all the goblin or moblin things shot at these, didn't they? Decent. Exploding barrels. I wonder if I push the rock onto it, anything might happen. Mm, nothing. I guess it was for those moblin things that were there earlier on in the last episode. Right, let's push on towards this church. I hope it's the right place because I don't really know where else to go apart from there. these barrels. Ooh, maybe we can't do it with a spear, it needs to be heavy. Mm -hmm. Man, everything in this game is like so big. Like, it's gonna take a long time to shovel them out. After that, man, I like the spears. Got a nice range on them. Ooh, let's break some pots. Come on, one of you's got to have something in it. Ah, uh, there we go, there's six arrows. Ooh, the traveller's by. Inventory full. What bows have we got? Yeah, we drop one of them. Traveller bow's a bit better. Make some more space just in case we find another. Get in right in my inventory. Grab you up. Oh, what's that light? Let's go and check that out. Hmm. Okay, some kind of cutscene. Spirit orbs can offer great power if you've got four of them. Oh my god, this is where I get... Yes, I need another heart. Oh, that's sweet. So I guess every four of them you get. Come back here. For now, I'm just going to be slapping it on health because things hit hard on this. Sweet. Four heart hype already. Right. Oh no, I've heard his voice. Hey, what are you doing up there, Santa? Right, let's climb the super long ladder. I'm glad we can do a little jump up it. Man, the view from up here. I really want to know what that volcano is all about over there. Alright, Sana, what's going on in? <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. Oh my god, am. guys, I knew it. I was oh, no, it's a king of Sana. Bosphoramus Hyrule. Damn. I was the last leader of Hyrule, a kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> the Great Calamity was merciless, 
It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight, gravely wounded, collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final help. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter, my dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, 
as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle. She calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Sheikah Slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Right, guys, I think we're back from that super long cutscene, but a good bit of the story there, so we know what's going on now. And look at that, we've got the paraglider finally. He's actually giving it to us. I had a feeling it was going to be like, mm, do a little bit more for me first. <laughs> right, let's save Hyrule. But first, what do you got in your chest? So I've actually heard, oh, soldier's bottom. Anyway, yeah, I've actually heard that you can just go straight ahead to the main boss and finish the game. But obviously we want to explore everything and it would be super hard trying to do that. Where is the fun in that? Uh, we can glide for quite a while. Now let's go off and see what things we can find beyond this wall. That is so handy. It was a nightmare without it before. Yep. Climb on up. You want to get as much height as I can. Climb for as long. Right, well, I think we'll start off in this little building right next to us. And then we've got a big old tower thing back there. Oh, so much to explore. Oh, I overshot that one. The Hyrule Kingdom. Right, there seems to be absolutely nothing in here. Nice old bonesy corpse there. Huh? Right, let's go towards this big tower type thing and we'll have a look at this thing on top of it. I don't even assume so. There's quite a lot of other stuff down there. Oh, what is that? Are you friendly? Nope, he is not friendly. I'm not messing with him. I don't think I have a chance against that. Alright, let's get some drumsticks. Give me roasted bird. Oh, wait, yeah, she cooks it for you. Right, guys, we ain't got much longer of this episode left, and I'll have rocks being thrown at me. We're gonna cut here. I will get to the top of this tower and we will continue on so thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next.